NCAA Regional last year with the Terrapins. As Martirano off the glove and into the outfield for a base hit as the two-out single puts the Tar Heels up 1-0. Talk about a Stink. lucky bounce there. Stinking bullet right there. Miscued, touching that bag at second base right now. As the first pitch swung on, Gahagan right side. They're going to send the runner home, and they'll concede the run as Clemente Inklin will score on the RBI single by Zach Gahagan. One and two. Here it comes. There it goes. Third strikeout of the afternoon for Chris Well through the first third of this ball game. I guess assess both teams thus far. Well, I think, wow. That's a hard hit ball. Freeman just looks so smooth as he <laughs> slides and makes the play. Unbelievable play there as he will record the 6-3 put out. And that was pretty work right there. I just, that is a thing of beauty. He broke about half of what his standard breaking ball has been breaking. There's a 1-2 pitch laced towards center field. Riley trying to dive and make the catch. It goes off his glove, but the runner, Owens, slips going around. He may still be able to score, but Freeman throwing it in. It's going to be close. What a throw. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Unbelievable play. Unbelievable relay by the Tar Heels to get the third out and to keep him off the board. Sullivan. Martirano, that's deep. She that's going. Is that is gone. gone. Martirano with his eighth home run of the year, and he says, welcome to the ball game, Mr. Sullivan. Let's make it 4 nothing. wide over. I mentioned he had some pop, didn't I? And Stoffel has struck out twice today. Make that three times. There's the 2-2. Two -two. Freeman, line drive, base hit. Does it get through? No, a diving play by Owens. Throws it over to first, a scoop up. Not able to be completed, and the run will score as Fregail could not come up with it. So 2-2, two -two. here comes the offering from McDonald. That one squirts away from Friday, and Riley, he's going to go home. He's going to come all the way home and score. Wow. Unbelievable. Friday had no idea where it went, and Riley was on his horse the entire time. And the runner's at first and second for Virginia Tech. Not going to hurt anybody here at this point with an eight-run lead. Chopper, that could be two. Datchers, the five, the four, the three, double play. The runner will advance to third, that being Mangrum. Well, he's a little bit shifted over towards short as that's a high fly ball towards left center field. Ashton McGee camps under it. And that'll do it. The Tar Heels have taken a step in the right direction to clinching the Coastal Division.